My daughter would cry every time she would go to urinate, every time she gets the urinary infections and it causes her discomfort. She cries in pain. Yes, she gets a lot of it. This is my story. Actually, no. It's my daughter's story. My story is a blur. I don't remember a thing. I've buried it deep within me. It's best that way. Dealing with my daughter's pain is bad enough. Mothers are like that, I think. We may forget what happened to us, but we can never forget what happened to our children. Maybe that's why my mother can still remember what had happened to me. Maybe that's why I can still remember what had happened to my daughter. Yes, I was responsible for taking my daughter to get cut. I took her in spite of my mother telling me not to. She had a reason. I wish she had told me then why she was stopping me. But like her, I too succumbed to the pressure of a system, which made me believe that this practice is compulsory for our religious beliefs. When my daughter turned seven, everyone started to ask me, everyone, to, everyone started to talk about how I should do her khatna soon, before it's too late. I wish I had questioned, too late for what? I still remember that fateful day. I dressed her up and didn't utter a word about where I was taking her. How could I? She might have got scared. So I lied to her and told her that we had to go to the doctors to get an infection treated. She came along without a clue of what was going to happen to her. Trusting me like she always did. We went to a lady doctor at a clinic in Mumbai. She took us in. I was very nervous. And I'm sure my daughter too was. The doctor then asked her to remove her underwear. My poor child did it. She had no reason to distrust me. I was then asked her to hold her down by her hands and legs. The doctor and I both held her down. I could not bring myself to look at what was going to happen next. But within a fraction of seconds, it was all over. It was over for me, but not for my daughter, who lay in shock and pain, wondering what was done to her. She yelled at me, crying bitterly, telling me how painful it was, her innocence wanting to know what was done to her. I had no answers, neither did the doctor. All I could do was tell her, it will all be fine. The doctor then gave me some painkillers and an oral cream to apply twice a day. Though the pain didn't last for more than 24 hours, I still remember those initial hours of pain. My daughter would cry every time she would go to urinate. She still does. Every time she gets the urinary infections and it causes her discomfort, she cries in pain. Yes, she gets a lot of it. She's only 10 years old. 
Whenever she cries in pain and looks at me, pleading me to make her pain go away, I just cry with her and say sorry. She never understands why I do that. It's been three years since the incident. I'm hoping the incident has faded away from her memory. I don't have the courage to ask her if it has.